Ladies and gentlemen, our Pioneer Award presenters, Terry Clark, Patty Loveless, and Ronnie Millsap. Each year, the Academy chooses an honoree for this, the most prestigious award. And unlike many other award shows, this particular award is kept secret. We have a fourth award presenter tonight. Uh -huh. When she comes out, Ronnie, someone in the audience who thought they were here to give an award, well, is going to realize they are this year's Pioneer Award honoree. Okay, Louise Mandrell, would you please join us in paying tribute to your sister, Barbara? <laughs> Barbara, your family and your friends were sworn to secrecy. Family has always been the loving center of Barbara's life and career. It's just our dad and her lifelong hero and mentor, Irby Mandrell, and Mary, our wonderful mom and teacher. Her sweetheart and then husband, Navy pilot Ken Dudney, now her manager. Her greatest fans, beloved children, Matthew, Jamie, and Nathaniel. Hold on, Louise. I better do this next part, honey, because you know what? You're in it. Oh. <laughs> My sisters, Louise and Early And then there were Barbara's little sisters who eventually became her bigger sisters. Their combined beauty and talent made the Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell Sisters show a hit network TV series. Barbara broke new ground among female country artists by starting out as an instrumentalist and a terrific one at that. Piano and accordion at age five and then on to the steel guitar. Somehow she also picked up alto saxophone at the same time. And through the years she's added banjo, dobro, mandolin, and all kinds of guitars to become the country instrumental queen. In the late 1960s, while still in her teens, Barbara launched a three-decade hit-filled recording career. Here are some that went to number one. That call from the office and I guess I have to burn the midnight oil again Sleeping single in a double bed Thinking all the things I wish I'd say Love and you was wrong I don't want to be around Yeah, I was country When country Barbara also became an excellent dancer, and in her concerts, she's always been a versatile, audience-pleasing entertainer. Barbara, when you called me in 1997 telling me that you decided to bring your musical career to a close, I was stunned. The passion, the humor, and the professionalism that you brought to your performances served as an inspiration to me and your fellow artists. You have truly been a pioneer, expanding the boundaries of country music, and will always be grateful to you. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor. On the CMAs, Barbara was the first artist to win Entertainer of the Year, two years running. And on the American Music Awards, she was the top female artist six years running, in all meanings of the word. I thank the good Lord. On this show, she's performed, hosted, presented, and after tonight, will have taken home awards from 1971 to 2001. From top new female vocalist to Entertainer of the Year, and now to Pioneer Award honoree. We'll be right back with more. Some people, you'll be right back with less. 
just wanted you to know that we're all proud of you. And I know that when God made the universe, he put most of the stars in the heavens. But he did leave a few here on earth like you to kind of guide us along the way. So I just wanted to congratulate you. I'm just sorry I'm not there with you tonight to see you get this because I know how proud you'll be. But I love you, and congratulations. In 1984, Barbara's car was hit head-on. The collision caused injury to her children and threatened serious damage to Barbara's life and career. But soon she came back with the love of her family and friends and her faith in God. First you saved my soul from hell Then you made my mind and my body so well so much for me. My sweet Lord, you've done so much for me. And Barbara, we just have one more thing to say. She remembers wearing straight leg Levi's flannel shirts, even working in style. She remembers singing with Roy Rogers at the movies when the West was really wild. Yeah, she was listening to the opera when all her friends were digging rock and roll and rhythm and blues. She was country, country when country was too cool. It's, um, it's like I was singing in the, uh, in the clip that was shown a moment ago. And it's so true. God, you've been so good to me. And... So, so good. I've been so excited tonight to see all of you all. And, uh, and the fans. I was asked doing an interview this evening before I got in here of which Kenny Rogers song was my favorite. And very, I said, which one would you not like? And I said, the, the one that comes to my mind at this moment, and you've done it again too, Louise, I might add, with, with our friends up here, was the night that you sang to me, um, She Believed in Me. And um, you all keep such good secrets and... Um, and I'm not making a good speech. My heart is so full right now. And I've told everyone close to me that I said, isn't it just eating you up to not go out and perform? I love you so much. <laughs> this is the honest truth. It's all because of, of the fans that I am able, for the first time in my life, to be a full-time wife a full-time mother. At least there's one left at home, my ninth grader. And, 
And I, and I just want to tell you the absolute truth. Mother's Day is this coming Sunday. And um, for all of you out there and all of you that are here that are, there's very few, by the way, most women work now, but that are homemakers. I have never worked so hard in my life for no money. God bless you. Leanne Womack sings and the competition heats up for Entertainer of the Year on the Academy of Country Music Awards.